Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. You guys, today we are going to be making a log, kind of ranch-ish, horse, cabin, luxury thingy. I don't know what to call it. I'll figure it out. I have no idea. Um, But yeah, so literally I did a full-on Halloween carnival just before this build and yes i know it was a little too early but hear me out it's just because halloween is everywhere and i went to the states i went to home goods i saw a bunch of halloween decorations my sister parked in a spot where there was sprinklers so her car got soaked and we couldn't get in oh, it was great by the way super funny the fact that there's a plaza, okay, in the States where there's like Home Goods, there's um, Target, there's Olive Garden, there's literally everything in this like whole, you know, little place. And they're freaking like, um, I don't know what they're called, sprinklers? Yes, yeah, sprinklers are going probably about a mile a minute. Like it is, they are like, their duty is to freaking wash the floor and everything in it like soak it down i these are power washers for the ground i'm serious they're not even like light and nice and like those like you see people running through it and they look so graceful and nice no these are like like it's <laughs> it sounds like a gun and my sister parked into a spot and at the time they're you know they weren't on and it looked like it was supposed to storm so we're like oh okay like if it storms i'm sure they won't go off no 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 me uh my sister and i went into trader joe's and then we came back out and the car was <laughs> was on one side of it was completely soaked and it was being soaked by a power washer from the ground and my sister like <laughs> ran in got soaked and then she moved somewhere else so that i could get in i if i have the video i'll insert it if not it, it was so freaking funny <laughs> and i thought it was hilarious um but I, where was I even going with that? I think I was going like everywhere. Oh, Trader Joe's and oh, HomeSense. Halloween, yes. Okay, Halloween stuff. Yes, that is my only build that I'm gonna do for right now that has anything that has to do with Halloween, okay? So don't worry about me. I won't do any more for now, for now, for now. Okay, so that's okay. We can just leave it. But I decided to make this like beautiful little cabin and I, I guess not little, this is pretty big, but I was making this at work and I was sitting there and I'm like, I don't know like what to build. I don't know what to do. And usually when I'm bored at work, I will sit and draw um, and kind of map out what I want for my next build. And I posted it on my Instagram story. So if you guys do want to come over and follow me on there, I do post a lot of like behind the scenes stuff and I just post my builds there in general um but I can see that like I already had this map layout of this big home I wanted to have like a ranch um like this beautiful luxury ranch I wanted to have like a horse stables in the back I wanted like a training center and then I also wanted like a cute little barn on the right side for like any goats or chickens or anything like that but it's mostly gonna be goats and sheep and it is so cute now I have some like cute little um like lore I guess with the the house i guess so the or i guess like i don't know i okay hear me out so the horse stables is the building that got built first and this was a really really long time ago and they decided to just kind of upkeep the um fences and maybe added a couple pillars here and there but they still kept like the same roof they kept the same like um siding for the um this horse stable and they kind of just made it uh, updated just a little so that building there used to be nothing on that lot and then they came to that lot to purchase it and they're like let's just keep the horse stable so that is like the oldest building on the property and then they built the training center which is going to be to the left of it and that place is going to be big and then the newest little shed or i guess barn that they made is 
is on the right side so that will be a little bit more modern it'll be a little bit more nice because they just renovated it and they want it to be a little up to speed and I thought that was kind of cute so I really do like it this is gonna only be part one because girl this build is big and <laughs> And I'm currently in the middle of moving, so I literally, girl, I have no time. I got no time. I went and I was at work and I had a bunch of um, shipment that comes in. And usually our shipment comes in like every Wednesday and Thursday. And we need like a lot of boxes for, um, you know, like when we get shipment, there's a lot of boxes that come in and then we have to like take them out and then stock them up. And I'm like sitting here and I'm thinking, well, if we do get any of the shipment, I'll just steal the boxes and bring them all with me so that we can use them for when we have to like move and my dad was like oh that's a good idea I'm like okay so I'll do that now as I was work and I was waiting and waiting we didn't get shipment one day and we got the shipment the next day and I came in and I was like okay don't touch the boxes I'm stealing I'm stealing all of them and she was like what and I was like I'm stealing all of them so then as soon as we got like 30 boxes later I'm like squishing them all in these like um in a bigger box and then just kind of like cutting them down and then bring putting them in and then we kind of like tape them up when we have to move to make it like an actual box to stick things in and I <laughs> walked out of the store carrying these like two giant boxes of just cut up boxes and everyone was looking at me weird they're like what are you doing so I I thought it was really funny but I finally got stuff down and I brought it back to my dad so now we have it and we're gonna be moving on October 4th so we are starting to pack up now and I girl I want to buy so much stuff in my new room and I want to make it look really really cute and just aesthetically pleasing and if I should should make like a little vlog maybe I could make like another um like another channel or something for like my just my daily vlogs and stuff like that I wanted to do kind of like a room makeover um and make it so it's less like weird <laughs> I have so much stuff saved in like in the album so I think that'd be a lot of fun and I think it would be really aesthetically pleasing and I think it'd be really cool and I've been so excited obviously I don't have the money for it but um the thought of it makes it exciting you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying so that is really fun and also something that is like bringing me a lot of joy currently right now is I just posted a short on my Instagram and my uh YouTube obviously here and I got this little like drawing on procreate and it's of a little cow plant in a uh, pumpkin and then it has a little ghost from the paranormal pack inside like and he's following them around and it looks so freaking cute it's like a Halloween themed little little drawing that I did and I just recently started getting into procreate because usually I do like realism portraits like on paper and I was like well it'd be really fun if I did like procreate because I've never done it before um so I drew this thing and I thought it was so cute so I got a keychain made of it and I thought it was so perfect for Halloween. I absolutely love it. I think it is absolutely adorable. It is a perfect size and I don't have it like any sort of like sparkly or anything like that. I just wanted to see how it would come if it was just flat, matte, anything like that and it looks so cute and I will insert a photo there for you guys and let me know if you guys do like these and I can try and make more and I can do a whole bunch of different ones too I want to open up like a little shop and start doing things um and then you know in the future I'd like to get merch for our channel but obviously our family is so small right now so it doesn't make any sense um and then when we hit 10k I am currently working on a discord right now um so it'll be really really fun I love it I'll Already. it is very aesthetically pleasing it's very cute um, there are so many different little like channels that you can look at and talk to people about games and um, like food and dogs and cats and pets and all that stuff setups um, it is so cool and I'm so excited to show you guys that one day and speaking of a game that I'm actually really really excited about it's called loft or something like that and I have been seeing this go around on my Instagram for quite some time and it looks so freaking cute and it's like this these this couple and they made it and they got this like funded and I think within like two hours they were already like past their funding um 
expectation or something. Like currently right now, I think they're at like $900,000 uh, for funding for this game right now. And that is just so amazing. And I'm so happy for them because that is actually really, really cool. And the game looks so cute. It's like a cross platform. I see that they said that they have like inspiration from uh the sims uh animal crossing uh, a couple of other games but it's a very very adorable looking game and i cannot wait for that to come out i am so <laughs> excited and i just realized that i got like five subs on <laughs> on twitch and hold on okay <laughs> You're like, oh, okay, five, okay, good, good for you, Sims Ration. Good job, Jamie. No, okay, let me let me explain something. I have never, um, I've never done any sort of stream on Twitch. I would really love to. Um, so I will link my Twitch down there because eventually I really, really do want to make one. Like I like do a little Twitch stream. I think it'd be really, really fun. Um, but I had it on my link. I think my link tree and I saw like a couple people subbed and I was like oh I'm like I forgot that was a thing I'm like oh my god people are like subbing maybe I should start doing something soon so <laughs> because I have it there I just haven't done anything so I don't know maybe if I get to like 30 subs on Twitch I'll start streaming and just see how that goes because I think it'd be a lot of fun like I really want to do a shell challenge with you guys and then maybe do like a stream uh, showcasing it or maybe on uh, and do that on uh, YouTube here as well. I want to bring back the was it the showcase Sundays that I did and it's been a while but if you use the hashtag see simspo on the gallery so anytime that you bring um you I guess you upload a build to the gallery and on the description you can put hashtag see simspo and it will let me see it and then eventually I want to do like a whole new showcase of build so if you want to start doing that you may be able to get featured here on my channel I think it'd be really really fun I love seeing people work um the last one that I did it was really cute a lot of talented people so I would love to see that again and let me know if you guys are interested in me doing twitch streaming obviously we were talking before about me getting a camera and I want to do it one day I promise I will do it one day I feel though like I am such like an on the go kind of girl that I'm just going like and I'm running around and I have no time to do my makeup anymore like girl I look like a dead rat I'm serious I'm serious I may have the only good thing about me is probably my hair but I do need a haircut I, it is getting very long but <laughs> I would be so excited because if I could do camera stuff I feel like um, I think one comment said it pretty well, like it, I would connect a little bit more with you guys and I think it would it's true and I'm very animated so like I do a lot of facial expressions. My TikTok that I had, I think I had like 130,000 on there. It was a lot of fun. I deleted it because it was just too much for me. Um, but the main thing that was me was my facial expressions. And I guess a lot of people like that. And I think it'd be a lot of fun to do the um, camera. Uh, we just have to see how it goes. And probably once I move into my new house, I will get a camera and then make my room uh, more aesthetically pleasing for the background. And I think it'll be a lot of fun and get the proper lighting as well. Um, so I'm super excited for that um but yeah please let me know if you guys want to see me maybe do perhaps a new channel um just on the side for me doing like my main stuff like my real life stuff or should i just do it here i don't know i don't think i think because people only want to be here for the <laughs> for the sims builds and me talking i think that's the only thing but maybe i'll do some like I don't know, like Simspo's vlogs or something, and then you can see me and come with me on my journeys of things, and I think it'd be a lot of fun. I think it'd be really exciting. I'm excited. I can't wait to see how this channel goes, and if any of you guys are new here, hi, how are you? My name is Jamie. I'm also known here as Simspiration here on YouTube, and I have been here for, I think, almost two years now, which is really exciting, and I didn't really start fully until, like, last year-ish, kind of, um, so I 
I have slowly made my presence on here and <laughs> our family is growing. I love it so much. It is really fun to meet all of you guys and you guys have been so supportive and so sweet this entire time. So if you guys want to be a part of our little familia, I would be so honored. It'd be so much fun to meet all of you guys and you can go and see how our family grows and continue to see what I put out. This is my love letter to The Sims. My account is my love letter to the game and I've been here for way too long, but I'm so happy that I continue to play this and I'm happy that it still goes on. I'm really nervous about The Sims 5 though. But we don't need to talk about that right now. But someone did tell me that they think the unicorns are going to come into a fairy pack. And that makes sense. But I also noticed in debug, there is a white unicorn, like, statue. And I don't know if they were meant to put that in there or what. But it is super weird. And... I don't know. I think they probably will put it in a, a fairy pack or some kind, but it would be really fun to get some more supernatural stuff, but that is just me. I really like supernatural things. Um, so I guess that's me because I really love Halloween and I like all that like cool stuff. So I don't know. We'll see. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below about that whole unicorn thing. Are we going to get any soon? I don't know. I'm not sure, but if you guys like this video, maybe please consider like commenting and subscribing because I will be posting twice a week and hopefully three times soon I've been seeing that for so long and I don't even know if I can even do that now that I'm I'm uh, moving but we'll see we'll see how your girl does it but she always tries to post at least twice a week and I think I've been doing pretty well with that okay all right guys <laughs> I'll talk to you later okay bye bye <laughs>